I'm Judge Penny Wolfgang. Recent Juneteenth celebrations brought out thousands of people. What is the significance of the celebration for Buffalo specifically? We'll find out. Reporter Tony Farina heads to Woodlawn Beach to brush up on bocce. We'll take you there to check it all out. Then, get your motor running and head out on the highway for a bike run and raffle for hometown charities. Right here, right now, on The Big Picture. Hello everyone and welcome to the program. As we discussed here recently, the Juneteenth holiday commemorates the emancipation of enslaved African Americans, deriving its name from combining June and the 19th day of the month. On the anniversary that Major General Gordon Granger proclaimed freedom for enslaved people in Galveston, Texas on June 19, 1865. Here in Buffalo, we're proud to say that our recognition of Juneteenth is one of the longest running and largest in the nation. I took the hometown camera with me to East Buffalo to proudly participate in the recent parade and talk about the significance of the celebration for our community. Let's talk, let's talk about how really special this year is compared to the past years for Juneteenth. It's a very special year. This is the second Juneteenth festival after 514. Uh, it will be more celebratory this year. Huge turnout of people, beautiful weather. It is a celebration of freedom. It brings the entire community to, together and uh, just thankful for the way our community has banded together, how we continue to come together. And unity is the key for the city of Buffalo, and it's what Juneteenth is all about. Your turn, Senator. Yeah, I agree with the mayor, but you know what? Look at this crowd. This is Buffalo personified, the city of good neighbors coming together, celebrating what Buffalo is all about, celebrating the African culture, celebrating each other, bringing us all together. And this is as big as I've ever seen Juneteenth. God has blessed us with this extraordinarily gorgeous day, and uh, we're just proud to be a part of it. It's another tradition that continues in Buffalo, and again, the leaders of this amazing parade ought to be recognized once again for carrying on this tradition in such an amazing way. You know, our mayor is in charge of the weather, and this is the second, <laughs> and this is the second parade, wonderful parade in the last couple of weeks that he brought out sunshine and warm weather. Let, let, let me just say, I am never going to take credit for the weather, good or bad. But sometimes, when prayers go up, the weather is like this. Well, Especially from you. Thank you, guys. Have fun. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, Judge. Uh, District Attorney Flynn, I know you always participate in Juneteenth, but does it have a special meaning to you today? Well, we're, we're here now a year out from the tragic top shooting that, you know, decimated and just was heart-wrenching to this community and the whole city of Buffalo. So obviously, a year later, we're here, you know, to, to, to unite, you know, to show that 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 monster, that killer, did not win. That this community won. We got justice. We put him in jail, and hopefully now we can move forward. And what about the safety of the community as a whole? I know you've been working with all ver uh, visions and versions and people involved in law enforcement to make everything safer and to be sure as best we can that nothing like that ever happens again. Well, our efforts are working. Our, our homicides are down in half this year from last year. Our shootings are down um, almost 50% as well. Um, we're, we're even down over the five-year average. And the the five-year average is actually before COVID. So we're, we're making progress. Our homicides are down, our shootings are down, and we're doing everything we can to make this community safe. Well, from what I can see and from what all of us can see, you are doing your usual spectacular, efficient job, and we're very grateful, and thank you very much. Well, thank you very much, Judge. Thank you. Favorite Darius Pigeon is going to take an opportunity to talk to us right now and tell us about how this year is different from past years. You know, uh,
especially with the um, tops and our still in our rearview mirror, um, I think that this is so significant. You know, Buffalo has been known uh, for so many tragedies, but out of tragedy comes so much unity in our area. And if you see out here at Juneteenth, it is so diverse, and people just really, when I say grooving together, to celebrate the emancipation and the information that went down to Galveston that, that really freed us up. And so we continue to say, let freedom ring all together. If anybody can motivate us and make us upbeat and feel good, it's you. You know, I try always to be upbeat. It's sometimes, like today, it's a lot of pressure, a lot of moving pieces, but it's so important that we, we celebrate together. This is Buffalo. This is Western New York. This is how we do it. This is not a black festival. It does honor and, and really respect black people and Africans who were enslaved, but we do it all together. There's no place like Western New York. There's no place like home. That's right, no place like home. And uh, I'm so glad that your station and your shows keep on coming year after year after year. This is Buffalo, we're one. We care, we care. Yes, yes, we do, love you. It's so nice of you and it's very special to come all the way up here for this parade. I know you have other places to be, but I want to talk to you about how special Buffalo is, especially in the last year or so. There's like no other place that's as special as Buffalo on Juneteenth. This parade is the largest in the state, as you know. And so um, I had to be here. I was here last year. I'll probably be here next year. I love the energy of this parade. And it's important that we understand the history of this parade and recognize what it means to people of Af African ancestry and all individuals here in the great state of New York. And it just represents freedom and democracy and resilience. And so it's important that we march today, that we hold our head up high, that we hold our allies and thank them for all that they have done for us and recognize, you know, that we've got, um, we obviously have some challenges, you know, ahead of us, but the reality is if we continue to stay together and if we march arm in arm, shoulder to shoulder, we truly can overcome everything. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. You look great and beautiful. Happy Juneteenth. Janita, I always see you lately at the most exciting, wonderful, upbeat places, like last time we were at the Pride Parade, yeah. now, and now here we are. It's really wonderful how Buffalo is recovering and coming back, isn't it? it Buffalo has always recovered from no matter what we go through, right? We always recover because that's who we are. We're Buffalo strong, we're resilient, and I mean, come on, we're the city of good neighbors, right? We take care of each other when we're down, right? And we bring each other back up. That's what we're supposed to do. Does, yeah. it, does it seem like even more exciting and meaningful this year than other oh. years? Oh, absolutely. This year, I mean, Juneteenth is always amazing, you know, but after the year that Buffalo has, we definitely need a celebration. And what better way than to celebrate freedom? And the good weather, the mayor is responsible, I just found out, for all the good weather. For the good weather? <laughs> Appreciate him, right? Buffalo's been getting rained out lately, and we finally have a Saturday when it's beautiful outside. <laughs> have fun. Thank you, Judge. Nice to see you. Let us pray. God, we thank you for another great day. We already know that it started great, it will be great, and it will end great because you are great. We pray that this parade, this remembrance, this celebration will be pleasing in your sight as you are the one who gave our ancestors the strength, the knowledge, the fortitude to move to freedom. And today, we as Western New York, we as Buffalo, we as one, celebrate our ancestors and thank you for their creation. Keep us safe this day, for it is in his name we pray, amen. Someone who has been with us through all the trials and tribulations, who has helped to lift us up, who has helped to keep us strong, who has brought significant resources to this community and all of our state, is our great governor, the best governor in the United States of America, our governor, Kathy Hochul.
Thank you. Thank you for reminding us of what we've been through together and to tell the rest of the world that one year and a month after we made international news as being the scene of one of the most heinous acts of white supremacy in our nation's history, here we are to say we are back even stronger, more united than ever before. ancestors and know their struggles that are represented here today at Juneteenth to say we will never forget what they've been through and because of that and finally the freeing of the slaves in Texas of all places that we are here today to say that we've come a long way but we have so much more to do for racial justice and equity and as the governor of the state of New York I'm so proud that my hometown, back to this founding of the NAACP at the turn of the last century. And I want you to know, I brag about that. I just gave a big speech in New York City a couple days ago, and I said, you know where the, the real civil rights movement started, right? It's in Buffalo, western New York. Yeah. So that's the DNA that we have in all of us. And the moral responsibility to carry on on behalf of those who do not have the voice and the power that we do here today. So let's Hello. celebrate. Let's remember the 10 lost souls who we'll never ever forget going forward. They're in our hearts and they're in this celebration today. So I'm really proud to present this proclamation on behalf of the state of New York, 20 million people strong, to Patrick Cray, the leader. Remember that the website for information is buffalojuneteenth.com. When we come back, it's time to head to the beach. Mm -hmm.